Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. I am back coming at you with a What's For Dinner Wednesday video because my daughter hooked me up. I now have a tripod that I can actually record my video while I'm cooking. So, let's get cooking. Um, what are we having tonight? Meatball subs. Assistant Lauren from LAJ Blaze. Check her out. All right, let's go over to the stove. So these are tonight's ingredients. Tonight's dinner is super simple, like legit super simple. But again, thank you, daughter. Thank you. So we've got some plant-based meatballs. And we're gonna have, I picked out this sauce because it sounded yummy. So we got some sauteed onion and garlic. I'm going to add some more of my own flavors. Got a little onion powder, a little Italian seasoning, some garlic powder. And I like to take some of the bitterness out with my cane sugar. So I take it and make it my own. So these are the ingredients we're going to use tonight. I promise you it's going to be super simple. You're going to be like, dang, dinner's done. Yes, dang, dinner's done. We are going to have it with chips because we can. Okay. So first I'm going to add in the meatballs. I have to figure out the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to put these into, and I've got a pot here. Literally, very easy meal, y'all. I'm going to dump those meatballs in. And on the back, it tells you like how long to cook them for. Um, I never follow these instructions, so you shouldn't either. <laughs> awesome. Then I'm going to take and add in this sauce here. I'm just gonna pour it all over it just like that. Add a little water because we waste not and want we want not because we waste not. So I'm gonna get all of my stuff out. So literally just pour it all in there. Take it, get a little water and put it put the rest of it in there. So I've got the water in here. I'm shaking it up, getting a little bit up out of there. Literally that, because otherwise I would have lost all of that sauce. You'll see it, all that sauce down there. Anywho, I don't know if I made these for you guys yet or not, but yeah. we're making them again. Yeah. Because they're good. So I take and I add that in, and then I take in, and as my children all know, I never measure. Mm -mm. I add a little onion powder in. It's a little. Yeah, it's a little. But that's not a little. I like onion powder, really. <laughs> Remember, this is already sauteed onion and garlic sauce. Right, so it's already, so it's onion already got onion and garlic. But it just, to me, don't have just enough. So add a little garlic in there. And then I add some Italian seasoning. Not too much because you can taste the Italian seasoning. Mm -hmm. Boy, yes, if you do too much, it can be overpowering. And then I'm going to take and add... A little bit of sugar, not too much sugar. You don't want it super sweet, you just want it just enough to take the sweetness off of it. And I'm gonna take it, maybe do maybe about that much. Sprinkle that through. Then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna stir that all together, put the lid on, and turn this temperature down. Is there supposed to be in the water? Nope, that's why I put the water in the lid, I mean, in the jar. So the water actually helps to thin the sauce out just a little more for you so you can have enough to mix so it don't burn and scorch in the pot. Can y'all see it? Probably not like that. So literally that's how it looks. Let me turn this light on too, y'all. Ah, much better. Y'all see it? Alright, Lauren's helping me too, y'all. I'm going to figure out this tripod system and make it work for all of us. Oops. <laughs> Pay me no mind, y'all. I'm getting it. Okay, there you go. So, literally just stir all that up. Then I'm going to take and put this temperature on this eye at about five. Because this eye gets super hot very quickly. And then I'm going to put the lid on it. And keep checking it. I may cook it. It says on the back of here to cook it. 12 to 15 minutes in the 12 to 17 minutes in the sauce, but I may cook it 
I don't know. Let's see how long it takes to actually be done. But it'll be at least 12 to 17 minutes. So I've got it in now. It's 648. We're going to let it cook for a little bit and come back and fix our food. Gonna top it with a little cheese to give it some yumminess and mm. voila. You wanna pause? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna check and see how we're doing. Oh look, we're boiling y'all. It's been about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna stir. Look at there. Looks so yummy already, guys. And then put it back in. I may go another 10 minutes. And while I do that, I'm gonna get our buns together and um our cheese that we're going to use and i very very seldom use the cheese unless i'm making it with a dish or something i usually make cashew cheese sauce and i didn't feel like it today so i'm going to use the store-bought cheese all right we'll be back in just a minute all right so <clears throat> this is going to be my bun that i'm using my family who eats pescatarian We'll be using the Sweet Hawaiian Rose. And these are from, uh, they're Walmart brands actually. So they're gonna use those for theirs, but I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna layer my cheese here. <clears throat> and this is the cheese I'm using. It is the BioLife, just like smoked provolone slices. So I'm gonna layer that for my bottom, do the same for theirs, and then top it with um, three meatballs. And that will be dinner in a nutshell. I mean, dinner, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be harder than that. You can literally take the night off, make this easy meal, and be done with dinner in 20 minutes. And you and your family are sitting down to eat. So if you've had a long day and you can't figure out what it is that you want to eat, then grab something quick. Being vegan doesn't necessarily mean it has to be challenging. Yes, this is some processed food. However, again, as I say all the time, if you're learning how to do this and you're transitioning and you need quick, easy ways so you don't give up and you don't quit, then go for these. I love eating this stuff. Um, I also love eating my vegetables. I've tried more vegetables now than I've ever tried in my life. So make it simple, or as they say, kiss. Keep it simple, sweetie. That ain't the word they use, but that's the one I'm using today. So we're gonna keep it simple, sweetie. All right, back to the sandwich. All right, so I'm gonna layer it with a slice of provolone, BioLife provolone. And this is honestly what it looks like. It looks like regular piece of cheese. I'm gonna fold it at the corners here and here. And then I'm gonna layer it like this and this. And then I'm gonna put it, yes, I'm gonna make it look like an actual sandwich. No, I'm not listening to you, Lauren. Let me grab my meatballs. So I'm gonna bring the meatballs over here and layer them right there across there. So you bring the meatballs on over. Let me show y'all what they're looking like. Look at that. Let me stir it up a little bit. Hang on, love. Look at that yum, 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 good, delicious goodness. So I'm going to take about three of these and try not to burn myself. Thank you. So I lost one. But hey, she'll get back on there. So I've got one, I've got two, and the meatballs are hot enough to where they're going to melt it. Mm -mm -mm. It is so good and hot. Mm. It's so good and hot, but so good. All right, so it ain't like aesthetically appealing because of the plate nastiness, but it's still good. I'm just going to put some sauce right on top of there. Y'all, when I say good, I mean good. Let's go. And this, again, like I said, the sauce and the meat is going to melt the cheese for me. Then I'm going to pair this with some chips and we're going to eat. All right. So I cleaned up my plate to make it a little prettier. This is mine. And then this is the baby's. And this is what hubby's look like. Get into it, y'all. Y'all see all of that? I don't know why. I'm, there it goes. I'm like, I don't know why my light's not on, but this is hubby's. Oh, man. 
So we're gonna add some chips with this and we're gonna eat. I'm gonna have some sweet spicy chili Doritos. These are accidentally vegan. And the baby is gonna eat some salt and vinegar chips. I don't know what dad's gonna eat yet. We shall see. But that's about it. And just like that, dinner is served. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight for What's for Dinner Wednesday. I hope you decide to make this because it's quick, easy, and simple. Come on in, girl. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Be blessed and less stressed because Shauncee speaks. speaks. Bye. Bye. Thanks again, Diamond. Bye.